reaction to that study? No. No paralysis of any kind? No. I'm rather amazed about the pilot's voice lubricated by a circulating of tears and the cornea is clear, transparent, and functions normally. <coughs> Stand up, please. I 
remember this. <coughs> My agony is greater than yours. No one ever goes in there. You can't. You can't be serious about his request. But I am serious. Don't you see, Henry? That creature has offered me a way out. He's offered me something. It would be murder! You cannot murder a walking inventory of human parts. That's absurd, you know it. Well, then call it anything you like. Execution. Retribution. A balancing of the scale. There is blood on my hands from the cage. And you think about destroying what you can wash away. What is that? It? Well, I don't know. Then I do not talk to you now as a dear friend. I speak as a man of science, a woman who is dedicated to pushing back the barriers of ignorance. Barriers? <coughs> I crumble a barrier. Look at the result. I have looked, and what I've seen is both miraculous and marvelous. This monster is not at fault. He was an innocent person to a world that has no place but in an ordinary. He had the right to expect generous and understanding, but instead he found that mankind itself is very often monstrous. There is nothing that you can say to me that I have to say to myself a hundred times. And you speak of an innocent. There is your innocent. Look on the face of my young brother. Murdered. I'm speaking to your intellect, not your emotion. Oh, damn your intellect! Well, damn your emotion! <coughs> no! Open the door! Don't breathe a word to me, not to you. To anyone. For the time being. At the time tonight, I believe your 